Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric, and as you probably know, I love big, thrilling roller coasters. However, as a young kid, there were plenty of theme park rides that really scared me when I rode them. Whether it was just things that made me cry, or I closed my eyes during it. Because while I'm not afraid of big roller coasters or heights, there are certain things I was afraid of. So this is going to be a sort of 350 subscriber special because it is a interesting topic to cover. Like, if I released this same video on April Fool's Day, you would have thought it was a joke video, because the reasons I have to be scared of these rides are kind of ridiculous. But it's going to be pretty entertaining. So let's begin with one that's not really all that scary to me, but did scare me a little bit as a young kid. And number 10 is Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. This is a ride I actually enjoyed, it didn't frighten me much. It's dark ride, it's fun. It's kind of hard to make a top 10 for this one, as there's only really like 8 of these that really had me frightened. But I'm going to say dinosaurs on here because of the one T-Rex animatronic. I admit, that one made me jump a little bit. Number 9 is Splash Mountain. I know the happy animal thing with bunnies and fun songs and all that scares me. That's interesting. How is that one of the scariest? Well, it just so happens that I got stuck at the top of the lift hill with my family. As a young kid, this is a pretty frightening experience, honestly. That said, it was really cool to walk around where all the animatronics were at the end, but it was a bit frightening. So the ride itself did not scare me, but the experience I had on it definitely did. Number 8 is Congo River Rapids at Busch Gardens Tampa. Another really stupid reason to be scared of a ride. I went on this in January. It was my dad's choice to make me, I did not want to go on it. And it was super cold, so I was crying the whole way through. I really didn't like that, that was my first visit to a theme park ever. Pretty fond memories of that one, honestly. But it's pretty fun to look back on this and laugh at how silly it was to be scared of a ride, but now I never go on water rides in the winter months, even in Florida. Number 7, Insanity at Stratosphere Hotel. Finally, a big scary ride that actually is a reason to be scary. Well, guess what? I'm not scared because of the ride itself. I'm scared because it took me a good two minutes to actually get off the ride due to a bit of an issue with the restraints. That was what had me scared. I thought I was never going to get out or be stuck on the ride forever or something dumb like that. I was pretty young when I went on this. this but it's a bit of a funny reason to be scared of the ride and honestly, I really enjoyed the ride. But I mean, some weird experiences with being stuck on rides are really the scariest ones for me. Number 6 is Expedition Everest. I did actually really enjoy this roller coaster. The only thing that I didn't like was the Yeti animatronic, which does not work very well right now, and that definitely did scare me as a young kid quite a bit. Like I was really terrified of it. But I mean, it's not a bad ride for like those who are afraid of animatronics. It was just because I was a young kid, and I, I was a bit of afraid of the dark back then. But I mean, the next five rides are really the absolute scariest ones. Number 5 is Verbolton, and the reason I'm scared of this one is because of the number 1 ride. But Verbolton, the indoor dark parts, they terrified me. The drop track thing really, really frightened me. I was actually shaking by the end of it, and I was really happy when the ride was over. I closed my eyes for most of it, but it was a really scary thing for me, and now that I look back on the ride, it's not scary at all. But it definitely did give me some frights when I was pretty young. Number four is Cheetah Hunt. And <laughs> this is the funniest reason for me to be scared of a ride. I was not particularly scared of roller coasters at this point. I was a bit afraid of the Heartline roll, mainly because the name Heartline just seemed like it was gonna be really, really frightening or make you hurt your heart or something. But the real reason I was scared is because when I saw ads, this loud, this loud, like, roaring sound would play often. So I thought real cheetahs, like, came out and attacked you when you were on the ride. And that is the actual reason why I was afraid of cheetah hunts. I now love the ride and go on it every time I go to Bush Gardens. And I know no cheetahs are attacking me. But, you know, I'm just gonna actually show you a photo of me on Cheetah Hunt that we bought. It was just too priceless. 
Number three is Haunted Mansion at Disney World. This one, I closed my eyes for a lot of it. I was actually really frightened of this one. It's self-explanatory for some reasons. It's not scary, really. It's a fun ride. It's well done. But some of this stuff, like blinking cemetery gravestones and statues, it frightened me. The really awesome spooky voice, that really frightened me as a kid. I was always afraid that a lot of the scary stuff was, like, real. I'm sure some kids felt the same way, but this one definitely did scare me. Number two, Snow White's Scary Adventures. One of my least favorite rides at any Disney park, because it was just so terrifying as a young kid. It focuses on only the absolute darkest elements, and really lives up to the scary name. A lot of people agree with me on this one, I think, actually. And the part where the witch falls over, I thought she was going to fall on us. That's a bit of a dumber thing, honestly. But this is a really, really frightening ride. It's gone now, I believe. But it was definitely scary as a kid. And I believe in an original version, you supposedly died in the cars. You're not, like, in real life. But that's, like, the story of the ride. So that's kind of interesting to note. And number one, the reason I was scared of Verbolton is because before it, I had to go on Curse of Dark Castle. The ideas of curses and dark, those scared me as a young kid. When I asked if it was a ride or a walkthrough attraction, an employee told me it was a ride. That is my fondest memory from Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I was like six when I went, and it was so scary. I had my eyes closed for most of it, but these skulls and heads and all the crazy 3D stuff, it's actually a really frightening ride. It's gone now. and. I'm honestly unhappy because I didn't really get to experience it at an age when I wouldn't be scared of it. But I was afraid of the dark as a young kid, and afraid of ghosts and all that, wondering what lurks in the shadows. It's just a really, really frightening ride for me. Looking at POVs again, it's not quite as scary, of course, but some parts seem like they definitely would scare young kids. But it is a ride that actually was scary for a real reason for me, not thinking cheetahs would attack me or... I was stuck on the ride. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, it's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever made, honestly. But it's pretty funny, I thought. I hope you enjoyed this, like the video if you did, subscribe for more content, thank you for 350 subscribers, I'll see you next time.